Hello and welcome everyone, La Heart here with part 2 of my Sun Jen Let's Play for Total War 3 Kingdoms. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, they're all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. Massive thanks to everyone that left a like on part 1, you guys have absolutely smashed the 2000 like target, so all we need to do now in order to get an early hour special at part 5 is to hit 2000 likes on parts 2, 3 and 4. It is of course completely optional, so if you're enjoying the content you do want to see an early hour special at part 5, then feel free to leave a like. But if you're not enjoying the content you don't want to leave a like, then feel free to leave a dislike. So ping things up where we left them last time, we'd just taken the lumber yard and we've got a couple of points to upgrade for our characters, so Sun Jen, let's see where we're going to put your point for now. So we could go for Composure which enables night battles, intensity for a mighty knockback, stability, I think we're going to go for tenacity of steel. That's a passive buff that the longer he's engaged in melee or in a duel, his melee damage, base and armor piercing increases as it goes through the various phases. So that looks pretty darn nice. And we are trying to throw him into battle as a sentinel. So let's apply that. Rangai also got an upgrade. And in fact, yeah, we need to see if there's any that give more resolve because he's so close to becoming legendary. Oh, that gives plus eight. That would be enough, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. That chance of capturing enemy officers post-battle when present. Increases rate of wall and settlement damage during sieges. Trust. Plus 10% armor for all spear infantry and retinue. He does have pretty much a full retinue, nearly, of spears. So I think we'll go for that. We'll go for trust. Uh, yeah, there we go. Got a gold circle around resolve. So his name should go golden next turn as he becomes... A legendary character. Nice. Right, we just popped in uh, an assignment here, Cheng Pu, uh, for supervised construction. So we'll upgrade that next turn because it will be slightly cheaper and it will only take five turns to build. We could upgrade this um, bamboo woodcutter though. That would actually give us quite a nice garrison. Yeah, let's chuck that in. That's got five turns to upgrade to get walls. So that's fine. Um, probably need to save some of our money. Although, do I have enough for a trebuchet? I reckon I reckon I can get a trebuchet in there and still have enough to upgrade my city next turn. So let's just chuck the trebuchet in there for now. I will eventually convert these guys and swap them over to be crossbowmen because they have 250 range rather than 200. It will go for that. Right, let's uh, end the turn. On Empire moving in the north. Against Yuan Shu. Wang has declared war on Liu Dai. Mission success. Terrorism increases. Yep, set any character on assignment. Good, good. Sun Jen seeks to prove his worth. Reach faction rank, second marquee, and we'll get more heroism. Good. Challenge issued. Sun Jian plots a dynasty. Destroy the following factions. Oh, the vassals of Leo. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I haven't got any treaties with them if we're going to need to go after that. It is a challenge, not a mission, but it will give us for five turns path of glory plus 4k population growth faction wide plus 5 public order and plus 20% income from peasantry faction wide that's rather good that will draw us north and oh, hang on the imperial seal you spy a large force ahead of you flying the banner of leo Bao. as you draw closer a rider meets you my master leo Bao has heard that you hold the imperial seal you must return it to the Emperor at once or face war for your thievery. One of your generals tells you of Yuan Shu, one who would be willing to aid you should you keep the seal. So give the seal. We lose the Imperial Jade seal, which is rather nice. Gives us a fair bit of prestige, satisfaction, and morale. Uh, it does give us plus 80 with Leo Bao, but seeing as we've got that challenge to go after his vassals... Probably don't need to give him the seal. We can keep the seal. That'll actually follow the story of the Three Kingdoms. 
Uh, maybe seen as an act of treachery, I imagine so. Um, war declared between Sun Jian and Liu Wow. Mm, that will draw in his vassals. But diplomatic relations plus 80 with Yuan Shu. I am going to keep the seal. Let there be war. So yeah, Liu Wow and his vassals. Okay. Clear all those away. So quickly jump up to diplomacy. So now at war with um, Kai Mao, uh, Huang Zhu or Shu, and Liu Bao himself. Mm. But Yuan Shu, you yeah, you like us a lot. Plus a hundred and six. You are stronger than us. But I wonder. Why you? Can't form a coalition yet because we need to be second marquee. But hopefully. Mm, maybe we get him to join the war. If we, we could, if we could get, if we could push Liu Bao back or link up our territory, then we should be able to get trade with him. We are friendly with Sal Sal. We're getting there. All aggression? Mm. Not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, how close are we to that rank? Forty-six out of fifty. Okay, so soon, soon we should be able to get that. Okay, well let's keep mustering that trebuchet for now. Let me shut our troops back on up. Have we got enough to upgrade here? Oh, just. Wow, okay, yeah. Pop that straight on in. So I guess we just have to wait for a couple of turns, see where their armies come from. The Abrao's over here, so I imagine he will strike, probably sail down the river toward us. And try and break him and counterattack. Oh, Yuan Shao wants a coalition. He wants the Builder and the Grey Thoroughbred. Oh, I need to give that to my strategist. He wants regular ink. Oh, hang on, let's let's take a look at negotiate here. I think this would probably break us to uh, form a coalition. Um, doesn't look like there's any faction grouping at the moment. Any known lines? So this would be one of the first. Um, we're actually kind of making friendly with your with your brother Yuan Shu. I don't really want to give away 614 of my income of my income for 10 turns. Uh, but that is the kind of key positive factor in this deal. I am going to have to cancel that for now. Reject. Sorry, you on shout. Is not meant to be. Not now, anyway. We still have vision over you and Shu's land, so... Yeah, he's got a pretty decent force. If we could get him down towards that would be useful. Uh, another noble birth. Good. Let's take a look at our family tree. And have plenty of heirs, or potential heirs at least. And um and C should come of age soon. That'll be useful. We got over here. Oh, he has oh yeah, he's gained a point as well. Uh I'm planning on making you an administrator and keep popping you into uh assignments as well. I think we'll go along through diligence. That doesn't actually really help us out right now, but I want to unlock stability and understanding. Go along that line for now. And before I forget, let's give you Grey Thoroughbred, because everybody else has got amazing mounts. So yeah, we'll just hold here, get all that replenishment for the moment. That's got one turn left to finish the bamboo cutter. Good, good. That's got three turns till it gets walls. Four turns till that one. Ah, right. I mean, we could start raising some more forces over here, but I feel like we're probably going to need all the money we can at the moment to continue investing in our infrastructure. Oh, the Abwao is sailing on down. Okay, we're going to need to move back towards our town. I've got to move to Jiang Ling. Otherwise, we're going to lose it. Yuan Shu declares war on the Illuminate Rebellion. Oh, Yuan Shu demands the seal. Keep the seal minus 80. Or I give him the seal. I don't want to give anyone the seal. I want to keep the seal. This could, this could be inviting a massive war from the north, but I'm going to keep sticking with keep the seal. That hasn't... Oh, phew. Okay, that hasn't started a war between me and him. Good. Um... Okay, well, we already had, we have, like I say, we've already got some, we've already acknowledged his legitimacy, so he's probably liking us from that. So, we're going from plus 136 to plus 
78. That's all right. That's all right. It's trending now, but that's fine. We're very friendly at the moment. Anything in quick deal? Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to give those away. Provincial advisor. Oh, nice. It's good stuff coming through here. People of merit. Yep, quite a few. Bamboo cutter's been built up. So actually, the garrison here is now yeah pretty pretty decent. In fact, it wants to be upgraded again. Right, yeah, we need to move towards that town. I think if we go, can we go in by the water? Yes, we're in. Good. Right, we're in the town now. So if he attacks, that's fine. And we didn't have to force march. We just made it there. So everyone's still replenishing for a turn. Good. Um, I'm going to yeah set this to upgrade again. That seems pretty good. While we've got the income, and while we're, there's not too, enemy, uh, too many enemies pressing on us, I think we'll just keep the one army. I know we need to keep on expanding to get more heroism. Do that soon that soon um, and I worked out that you it seems like you can't recruit a captain to lead the army you have to have one character leading an army after that you can get mercenary uh, captains or other retinues I think if I was going to recruit anyone it might be Lady Wu commander They excel at inspiring friendly troops, but weaker in melee. Best group with can use of melee cavalry. Yeah, I'd probably bring her lead a second army. Or we just wait a few more turns until our heir comes of age. Looks he's red, so I'm assuming he's a vanguard, so that yeah, that would also be good. But yeah, we might wait till he comes of age, I think, to start mustering a second army. So let's end the turn and see what Leo Wow does. Ah, he's gonna go for the lumberyard, the booger. I wonder if I can reach him though. Fire burns brightly and indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead. Yet in the ashen darkness, the avaricious prowl. The Dong is down. Dead Dong. Don Shu declares war against Leo Dai. Okay. Su declared war on Dong Min. And Yellow Turbans have been destroyed. All of the Tyrant. Go. Succession. Let's clear all that away. Please say I can sail across and attack him. Ah, oh, not this turn. We don't have enough movement. Damn it. That is super annoying. Took all my action points to get over there. Fast. Well, we are still replenishing, but they're probably going to go after my lumber yard. Uh, if the, I'm going to cancel construction just so that we don't lose out on that money. Hopefully, I mean, the lumber yard's got a reasonable-ish garrison. There's lots of towers, so we should be able to weaken him if he does attack. Till then, I'll stockpile the money, I think, unless... I don't want to do non-aggression with you because uh, she's just gone to war with you. I'm, uh, I won't bother with diplomacy just yet. I'm going to see how things play out. All right, let's end the turn. See where Leo Brow moves. Oh, he's moving to attack me. Okay, right. It's a valiant defeat. Apparently, we are. They outnumber us by 200 men. They are at full strength. We are not. We do have trebuchets, though. We do have trebuchets. Right, well, we're going to need to fight it. But in we go.
Okay, right. We've got trebuchets, so they should have to come to me. Even though we're attacking them. So there's a lovely little mound here where we can put the trebuchets on. Have them there. Have them on flamble round for that extra uh, explosion damage. Then archers, let's have you guys off skirmish mode in loose formation. Have you guys down here, and then we'll have my infantry in the center to support. Have these guys slightly further out on the flank, I think. Go. Strategist, let's have you up here. And then, yeah, let's have these guys all together in shield wall as well, actually. Our formations, I'm hoping, will save the day here. Shield wall that up. And turtle power for you guys. And same on this side, although I think they've got some cavalry, so probably leave a little bit of a gap here. We'll have Jen over here. Champion there. Yeah, let's keep it back for a bit. There we go. Right. Start the battle. The Bichet can't fire yet, but yes, they've got cavalry on the left. Fire in the center and get a good cluster shot in there, Trebs. Here we go. Oh, nice. Here we go. Oh, boom. Yeah, perfect when they're in two groups deep, because even if we miss the front lot, it'll strike them behind. I think you guys need to move forward a bit. They've actually got their archers behind, so let's... Um, Send these guys forward. Oh, that's some good damage. Anyone want a duel? To my champion after their vanguard. Jen after their sentinel. Oh, here we go. Set that jewel. There they go. Oh, trebuchets. Turn off the archers. You guys out of turtle and move on round. Oh yeah, it's popped his uh, tenacity of steel. That's it. Hold, turtle, hold. Silly cavalry. Taking lessons from Jon Snow, clearly. Ah, uh, no. Clever cavalry. Alright, Trebs have done good work, though. Broken these guys, go into the cavalry. Archers. Pull across. Let's 
士兵丢盔弃甲，真懦夫也。How's this duel going? Oh, he's about to finish him. Slaughter him. Nice! Spear in the face. Cavalry is gone. Spears back on over. Okay, victim number two. Go for it. Oh, Leo Bois has gone crazy, though, because he's lost a friend. Guys are holding as best they can. Archers, pull back. Jen over here because he's just routing all my archers. Take down this sentinel. He does have a fantastic hat. Oh, unit should be about to break. Looking pretty close, actually. He's got all of his fallen friend bonuses. That's probably why he went for the duel. Oh, looks like we're gaining the upper hand. Yep. Come on, finish him. Will he be ready in eight seconds? Here we go. Well, I think we've taken out Leo Wow. Come on, finish him. Oh, it's so close. Looks like he's got the upper hand with health now on the right hand side. Come on. Old. Yes! Victory! Beautiful. Claim victory. A close victory. <laughs> we have 1,497 remaining. Leo Bwao has 451, so we should be able to chase them down quite nicely. Oh, that was a, a close duel at the end there, though. Oh, oh no, we finished them all off. I did take out all of them. Oh no, no. We've just wounded him, yeah, because we caught up to him in battle. Taking out all of the generals. 10% replenishment. Uh, yes, please. That's insane. Yep, so they've just got a new character taking over because everyone's been wounded. Or maybe actually, maybe we managed to kill him. I said resilience wise. As they fight side by side, oh no, he's still, he's still your there. general's bonds will deepen as friends or rivals, affecting their satisfaction in your service. Be watchful of their relationships and their characteristics as they develop. Okay, thank you, advisor. Uh, he signed a peace treaty with Leo Bwao. Zhuang Shao signed a peace treaty with Han Empire. 
Ah, nice. Have we ranked up? Yes, we've become second marquee. Nice. So now our next mission is to become Duke. Lovely. So that unlocks some fun bits because I think we can form coalitions now. If obviously someone wants to do it. Yep. All of the Tyrant's Empire. Dynasty. Gain some more bonus experience. Lovely stuff. Let's clear those away. Character developments. More people at court. That city now has yeah, its walls. And a full retinue for its garrison. Rivals between uh, Sun Jian and Liu Bao. Yeah, he's just been just been wounded. To the oh no, he is still there. Okay, he is still there. It's just, oh, this guy's commanding the army. So that's the model that shows up on the field. We killed the other one in the duel. Uh, he was also wounded. It is but a scratch. There is fight left in them yet. But they should take care and place themselves in too much peril. Whereas... Um, this chappy here with the fantastic hat has suffered serious injuries from battle. Any further injuries may have fatal consequences. Dun dun dun. Right, well, surely we can chase them down. Oh, they're going to run out of. Yeah, they're out of my range. God damn it. Rather cheeky. We've got loads of money, though. Um, but we're now second marquee, so that gives us, yes, chancellor and administrator positions. I want Cheng Pu as administrator. Uh, I can't because he's currently on assignment. Damn. So I'm guessing by putting him in as an administrator, he won't be able to do assignments then? That's a, but that's, that gives industry, also gives plus 40% from commerce administered commanderies. That's why I want to pop him in as the administrator. How much longer has he got? He's only got a turn left. So we'll just sign him next turn then. We can actually now do a second assignment with someone though. Um, what have we got here? Population growth reserve. We don't want to have a hit to our reserves, although how much is our... Minute markets. All oh, that's oh, that's actually really good. So we could pop him in as an assignment here then. Simulate the markets. Because that gives us more commerce, local commandery. Yeah, do that. Fifteen turns. Nice. Get that in there. Um. Chancellor, what does Chancellor do? Who do I want to pop in as Chancellor? Oh, I can make characters that I've got with me of Chancellors as well. That's income for peasantry, faction wide plus 15%. No desire of heart office until characters rank 8. Character defection can trigger, can trigger civil war. Character is part of your faction council. Um, I mean, he is relatively satisfied. I could make Lady Wu my Chancellor. I think I'm going to reward him though, because he's fought. Bloody well. Let's pop him in there and we'll pop you in as administrator next turn. He's surely about to come of age and when he does, that's when we form up our next army. We can do a reform as well. And income from peasantry. Administrator position is available. I mean, that would also be pretty good. So many to go for. Income from all sources, though, is always pretty darn good. Industry. There's income from all sources there. Gone through everything for commerce right now. I kind of feel like more population growth would be good because that gives us more replenishment eventually. Uh, go through here, get Azure Dragons if we wanted, because a couple of unlocks as well. Oh, income from commerce. Oh, that one. Private tutors, what do we need? Oh, we need a, a building for that. But yeah, definitely grab that one then, at some point. About that one. That is trade influence. Trade agreements. We haven't even got one at the moment, so I don't think we need another one. Let's go for register of the land of population, because then we can get all sorts of income plus 10%. We're not getting a huge amount from our peasantry at the moment. In fact, we're not getting... Oh, no, we are getting a little bit there. Uh, I'm going to go for a mercenary outpost here, because that's just good for more replenishment and commerce, and we do have the jetties. That will benefit us. I feel like having more of that would be good. Um, 
Although something for more food production is always going to be good in this place as well. But let's chuck that in there for now. Lumber yard. Right, we can complete the upgrade there. Have we got enough money to rush it? Instant construction. We could spend even more money. Although we might just want to save it for when we want to recruit another army. Yeah, see, so that's only a. We only lost that on like a turn, I think. I mean, these guys could move towards it, but those guys are pretty, pretty strong now. So yeah, can I go into ambush? Let's go into ambush and try and catch them out. How much chance have we got for an ambush there? Can't actually see. I don't want to cancel it just in case it won't let me do it. Uh, what else can we do? Oh yeah, court position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And. Faction council. Oh, yeah, we can invoke uh, the council to get um, missions from our ministers. Let's do that. Overpopulation. Support from peasantry. Construct a building from following chain settlement administration. Oh, that's what we're... That's that line, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, settlement administration. Sweet. So that will instantly complete next turn. And we'll get plus 10 satisfaction for our chancellor, Huang Gai. And support from peasantry, plus 5k population growth faction wide, plus 5 satisfaction for champions faction wide. Cool, nice. Uh, right, let's uh, end the turn again then. Leo Bual has been weakened. Oh, that looks like, is that another army? He's going to war with Yuan Chu, so hopefully this is the end of his attack on us for now. So we should try and push and wipe the first away his diplomacy uh, is vassals. To know who you are dealing with. Each warlord approaches diplomacy differently. Guaranteeing their autonomy. Yuan Shu declared war on Leo. Wow, oh, I thought he was already at war with him. But he is now. Okay, cool. Overpopulation. Success. Straight away. How many turns till we can do another one? Four turns. Cool. All those buildings. Good, good, good. Wen Zhu Zhenxin. Wei Fu Yuan Ya. Yeah, we can chase them down, so let's do it. We can finish them off this time as well. It will have to be an order resolve because there are no naval battles in this game. Sigh. Down they go. That was incredibly slow sinking. We lost 379. No units wiped out. Um, continue to take replenishment. Uncommon talent. Those enemies that aren't slain in battle are captured. Our success lies partly in the actions of one captain who was seen to defeat a great many enemies. A great example of the ideals that everyone should strive for. Character recruited, estimated salary, promote them or dismiss them. You know what? I'm going to promote them. I love that this is a feature that's back because this was something that I think last appeared in Medieval 2 where you had like. Uh, man of the hour. You removed them from your retinue and brought them to your court. Cool, so who have we got? Of course it's a strategist. Well, well done. Anyway, um, you're loyal to me, which is good. So we can utilize you. Right. Uh, I still can't pop him in. Is he still going... Oh, he's calling. Oh, now he's finished. He takes a turn for him to call back. Damn it. Rivals. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? This one's friend was killed in battle against my army. They're indignant. Okay, so they're friends. Oh, no, they're, sorry. Friendships. They're rivals. I was reading that wrong. Match Jian. Killed in battle. Good. And Dong Bei killed in battle, but um, Leo Bao manages to escape us for now. The warlords and factions on a diplomatic level. Appro yeah, I'm assuming if I peace out with him, I rem that automatically peace me out with these guys. I'm assuming That's so because yeah, I can't treat with them. As much as I want to... Well, I'd be tempted to peace out with him. He's willing to do it as well. As much as I would like to, I'd rather go and complete that mission for taking their territory. Form coalition. One shoe. 
9.7. Ancillaries, let's see if you want some of that. What do we got over here? Reserves, administered, commandery, public appeasement. I want that one for construction time. So you could have the provincial advice. That's probably a pretty good one. That would actually allow me to form a coalition with Yuan Sha uh, with Yuan Shu rather, which would be useful because we're both at war with the Obrao. I am going to do it for now. Uh, although, if we're doing all that, we can probably request a regular payment. There we go, 67 for 10 turns, so 670. We're giving him both of those. He's quite happy getting those. They are good ancillaries. Let's coalition up. Even though, previously, I uh, declined to give him the Jade Seal, he's clearly not that bothered events involving our friends. If I go to negotiate now, I should be able to see faction grouping. Coalition to defeat barbarians. That's us. Strategic threat. Yuan Shao. Sao Sao. Never know what Sao Sao is planning, though. We have formed a coalition. But actually, that means... Can I give him... Yuan Shu, that is. War targets. War coordination. Select target. Um, yeah, move on. Leo Wow. I mean, Yuan Shu, if you get strong, as long as we stay happy, that's fine. Because, I mean, ultimately, I'm quite happy to let you warlords do your thing up in the center and the north of the map. And I can just go and grab all this lovely Han Empire territory. Build up a massive economy and industry in the south and then strike north at you guys later. Ah, I am negative in food. Ah, minus eight reserves in all commanderies. That is not so good. That will give us one more food production. That gives us another one as well, so I could build both of those. That doesn't help us out just yet. Why, why is that? Threat. Jump on into the small city. Uh, have I got... I can do taxes now, can't I? Yeah, we've got the slider unlocked. That was a lot of public order. Okay, okay. Um, oh, we've unlocked a slot here as well. What do we want to build? Oh, I imagine it's... Yeah, it's upgrading all these. That's what it does. It's the food. That'll explain it. Right. What do we want to build here? We've got income from commerce boosted from the uh, from the mercenary building. We need tea to be able to upgrade that to the tea parlor, which is what I quite like to do. So right now, probably some more food production... Would be a pretty good idea. Income for peasantry. We can't. We can do schools. Actually, hang on. How? What does that do? Agricultural building construction. No. Marketplace. Income from commerce. Keep a turn. It does eventually. Yeah, that boosts things really nicely. And seeing as both T and the trade port are going to do it, that's probably what we want to do. We do have more slots available for us. Let's just quickly see if... We are supplying... Oh, we're supplying food to him. One food. Yeah, what other treaties have I got going on? So we'll get one food back next turn. We only need a little bit of food. Close on that. Who likes us the most? Only got four food. Sao Sao's got eight. Let's let's see if Sao Sao will give us. Let's ask for two food. What would make this work? Oh, all that money. Uh, no. 
Guessing I don't have any ancillaries left apart from my builder, which I don't want to give away. Not enough. Okay. Uh, I could make regular payments. Be a fair amount. What about just one food? need a lot more for that. I think it would be better than just take the hit for a couple of turns while we set both that and... Oh, we not got, oh yeah, we can only upgrade one thing at a time, can't we? Damn. That doesn't cost as much. And then I... Uh, the tea, does the tea house give us food? No, it gives prestige, though. Trade port, where are we going to take it? Oh, livestock farm. If we moved on that, get more food. I think for now we're going to have to at least go for this one, though. Land development. Good. Actually, I could press its construction straight away, couldn't I? Uh, save, it for the, save it for the army. Speaking of which, let's get you guys to a complete full stack. Closer to it, I think. Ow. Um. So if I've got another full stack at the moment, we won't be able to start recruiting more troops over there. It's true. No, let's just leave it as it is then. Leave it as it is. Save the money. End the turn. Wishes to leave our coalition. What? We just formed it, dude. Oh. That's the end of that coalition. Not quite sure it's meant to happen quite like that, but maybe because our relations are declining. But kill that. Loyal followers, family members, and others without a post will take seats in your courts. That was the uh these court nobles may shortest have coalition that make them ever. Uh, trustworthy, yeah, so it's not like anything's gone wrong there. Elsa says no, maybe. Hmm, okay. Fine. So those things that I traded to you, you just used me. Grab those. Great. Eighteen, so he's surely gotta come of age any moment now to lead our secondary army. Surely. Population growth drives your economy. So be sure to maintain a steady growth. Money pop him in here. Plus one army's faction wide. Income from all sources. Minus those percent corruption. And commerce. Construction cost. Income from growth. Yeah. Nice. Confirm. And yes. In here. Boom. Let's just check. Oh, he's not happy with Lusu. Okay, who is currently doing an assignment there. Now on that right builder. In you go. There's no accessory to go in here, but you know what? Let's have, give you the match Jan for now. How long until we're at full strength? I'm going to move here and take a look at that, what force they've got at the livestock farm. Ooh, that is quite a meaty garrison in there as well. They don't have that many generals, so we, we should be able to go on through. We do have the trebuchet, we're not at full strength. I could try and ambush them for a turn here. See if they head towards us. They might just recruit more. So, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. You guys let me know down in the comment section. Should we press the attack and try and take the livestock farm right now? Or should we try and ambush or just replenish up for a few more turns before pressing on 
my mouth. Let me know down in the comment section, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.